Hi, I'm Dr. Will da Silva, working today at Waze Dental Charm Park. Um, today we're going to have uh, one of our patients come in to check her Invisalign. So based on her uh, concerns, we're going to show her how things are going to go for her and hopefully she'll be happy with the results and we can start her treatment as soon as possible. So CleanCheck is the software that Invisalign does the simulation, remember? You had to sit down and do it like a, the initial setup with Invisalign to see what will be the best outcome for you. Mm. There are two options really for your treatment. One is going to be more straightforward and one is going to take a little bit longer and it makes the treatment not only longer but also a little bit more expensive for you and the outcome of it uh, it's a little bit more unpredictable, but still possible to get there. Yeah. What is that, right? Fixing your bite on the right side is the big challenge here. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the simplest way to do that, in my opinion, and that's how I plan your treatment, is to just remove that tooth there. Yeah. If we do that and I hit play here, you're going to see the tooth disappearing and that gap closing by the back teeth, moving forward a little bit, and the front teeth moving back. Perfect. Right? Yeah. And as you can see, we can get like a very good engagement. Invisalign usually gives me a lot of blue dots, saying that's very hard to achieve. When it's black, it's like impossible. I have only one here, which is very usual, is intrusion. Intrusion means putting the tooth into the bone. Mm. Every movement in orthodontics actually pushes the teeth out of the bone a little bit. When you're biting together with Invisalign, it pushes into the bone your teeth. Mm. So when you finish Invisalign, a lot of patients, they have like the front teeth hitting very hard. In your case, Invisalign is saying, that the tooth is going to come out of the bone a little bit, but the side effect is going to go there and like kneel it. Right. So that's a good thing. So we shouldn't be worried about the blue one there. Okay. Yeah. So the red things on your treatment here is called the attachments. That one is just going to be like tooth color, so it's not going to be red. Okay. <laughs> that's why you can't see on mine as well. <laughs> the blue ones is just like a, a dimple on the aligner itself, just to put some pressure on the tooth in a different way. I'm yeah. also changing the position of the root of the tooth inside of the bone. That's mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. And the numbers here is how much uh, reduction we have to do between your teeth. And that's based on proportion. Just to assure you that it's not whatever Invisalign tells me. Usually you're gonna select two, three different plans before this is sent to Invisalign. Do you have yeah. any questions about this? Um, just how long it will take if to do the treatments that'll be surefire to make sure that everything is straight and perfect really. Mm -hmm. Do you know how long that would take? This initial 26 aligning should take something like 10 to 12 months. If we get the result we want, good, then we can stop there. If we don't, we rescan your mouth and get more aligners and that's going to be like Invisalign predicting like how many more you needed. Right. The first 26, I wanted to change them every two weeks. That's why we're going to 52 weeks, which is almost a year. Yeah. And after that, again, if it's perfect already or enough for you to be happy with your smile and me be happy with your bite, yep. we can stop there do the retainers and I'll see you every six months after that for like a checkup and clean. And this is the one that always impresses me the most is when I put like the super imposition before and after. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. The blue is where it used to be and the white is where we want to go. Yeah. So this is now and this is after alignment. That's beautiful. And it looked like the center. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. amazing, isn't it? So in Visaline, we're going to give you something called um, dental monitoring, mm -hmm. which you're going to be scanning your mouth and every time you're doing that, there's an app on your phone mm -hmm. that is going to tell you go or no go yeah. for the next aligner. Okay. If it says I go, you keep going. If it says no go, it's going to tell you to scan in three days again. Mm -hmm. And if it keeps giving you no go, we get red flagged. And then we go there on our dashboard. Mm -hmm. We take a look and see what's happening. And then we can overrule that and say, oh, you can just move to the next one. Or we say, no, 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 we need you to come back, rescan your mouth and give you new aligners. Or we need to change something. Or there's an attachment that's broken. All of that. So. Even though you're not coming in person all the time, but we have actually more data coming uh, that way with technology yeah. than only having you here like every two months to say, oh, here's more aligners. 